I built a 1 to 1 accurate Denver International Airport in 1 to 400 scale. And for yes, those of you wondering, I did spend thousands of dollars on tiny little airplanes that are the size of my finger that don't even move. But that's besides the point, let's get on to the airport update. We'll be starting off this airport update at Concourse A, which houses all the other airlines except United and Southwest, and all of the international airlines. Starting off the airport update with the lawn chair seat airline. We have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A321. This aircraft is in the Steve the Eagle livery and is loading on the passengers and the baggage as you can see. It'll be departing for the flight out to San Francisco in about an hour. Following that, we have this Allegiant Airlines Airbus A319 with the Sharklets. This aircraft just arrived in from Peoria. Moving on to the next aircraft, we have this American Airlines Airbus A321. This aircraft is offloading the passengers and offloading the crew, getting ready for the next flight as it just arrived in from Charlotte. Moving on to the next aircraft, we have this American Airlines Airbus A320. This aircraft just arrived in from Austin and will be heading back out there very soon. Following that, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A321. This is in the Auto the Owl paint scheme. This aircraft will be departing shortly for the flight out to San Diego, California. Moving right along, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320 in the Griswold the Bear tail. This aircraft will be pushing back shortly and heading out to Pensacola, Florida. Really quick, I want to tell you guys where I get all of my aircraft models from because quite frankly, they are not cheap in this day and age. I get all of mine from the Midwest Model Store. I have provided a link in the description. You can go ahead and check them out, and you can use code MILEHIGHAVIATION for a discount and a shoutout on my YouTube channel. Here are today's video shoutouts. Also, I'd like to thank everybody that does do that because I get some of the money back, and it really helps support my channel. Thank you. Moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A321 in the Bobcat tail. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Kansas City. Following that, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A321 in the Colorado, the Bighorn Sheep Tail. This aircraft will be heading out to Milwaukee very shortly. Upgrading from Frontier Airlines, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A321. This aircraft is getting ready to load on the baggage and will be heading out to Minneapolis today. Following that, we have this Delta Airlines 737-800. This aircraft is currently loading on passengers and getting serviced, and will be heading out to Atlanta today. Moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A220. Currently loading on the passengers and baggage, and will be heading out to Salt Lake City. Following that, we have this WestJet Airlines 737 MAX 8. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Calgary in about 20 minutes. Just pulled into the gate here, we have this British Airlines 777-200 getting heavily serviced with the baggage as well as the cargo. It just arrived in from London Heathrow. Following that, we have this JetBlue Airlines Airbus A320. This aircraft is in the high-rise livery and it just arrived in from a New York JFK. Moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this gorgeous Iceland Air 737 MAX 8. This aircraft is actually in the new livery, as you can see. This is a brand new model that I did feature in my new airport, which is Reykjavik Keflavik. You can go ahead and check that out. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Keflavik. Moving on to the big boy, we have this Lufthansa Airlines Airbus A350-900, looking very stunning. This aircraft is currently getting fuel onto the aircraft, passengers, and getting catered, and will be heading out to Munich. Moving on to a bit of a smaller aircraft, we have this Air Canada A220. This aircraft is in the retro livery, very gorgeous, and is offloading the passengers as it just arrived in from Montreal, and will be heading back out there soon. Moving back on to domestic aircrafts, we have this American Airlines 737 MAX 8. Currently loading on the passengers as well as getting catered and will be heading out to Miami. 
Moving on to the small regional gates, we have this United Express Embraer E145 currently letting on the passengers and will be heading out to Colorado Springs. And finally for Concourse A, we have this United Express CRJ700. This aircraft is pushing back and will be heading out to Gunnison. Moving on to the taxiway, we have this Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Missouri 1 livery. This aircraft is taxiing at Mach 10 at the moment and will be heading out to Santa Barbara. Just getting ready to clip the tail of the British Airways, we have this United 787-9 Dreamliner in the new livery. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to London. Moving on to Concourse B, which houses all of United and United Express. Starting off Concourse B, we have this United Express CRJ200. This aircraft is in the new livery and is loading on the passengers to head out to Moab, Utah. Following that, we have the SkyWest CRJ700. This aircraft is operating under United and will be heading out to Aspen, Colorado. Moving on to the other side, we have this United Express CRJ700 in the new livery. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Des Moines, Iowa. Following that, we have this United Express CRJ200 in the new livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Cheyenne and will be heading back out there. Moving on to the hard stands, we have another United Express CRJ200. This aircraft will be heading out to Prescott today. The last CRJ200 in this airport update is another United Express, but this time it is in the old livery. This will be heading out to Louisville today. Finally, moving on to some bigger aircrafts, we have this United Express Embraer E-175 in the new livery. Currently loading on the cleaning crew as we speak, and it just arrived in from Eagle Vale, and will be heading back out there. Moving right along, we have this Embraer E-175 by United. This time it is in the old livery, and is currently loading on the passengers and fueling up, and will be heading out to Oklahoma. Moving on to the next aircraft, we have this United Express Embraer E-170. This aircraft just arrived in from Midland. Moving on to the newly painted gates, we have this United Airlines 757-200. This aircraft will be heading out to San Francisco this morning and is currently getting fueled up and serviced. Moving right along to the other side of the terminal, we have this United Express Embraer E-175. This aircraft is in the new livery and will be heading out to Palm Springs today. Just pushing back out of the gate, we have this United Airlines 737-800. This aircraft is in the Star Wars livery and will be heading out to San Diego. Just arriving into the gate, we have this United Airlines 737 MAX 8. This aircraft just arrived in from Houston IH and will be heading back out there. Just pushing back out of the gate, we have this United Airlines 737-800. This aircraft is in the old livery and will be pushing back for the flight out to Sacramento. Moving on to some bigger aircrafts, we have this United Airlines 777-200. This aircraft will be heading out to Honolulu today. Moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this Star Alliance 777-200 operating under United Airlines, currently loading on the baggage, and will be heading out to San Francisco. Moving right along, we have this United Airlines 737-900 in the new livery, loading on the baggage, and will be heading out to Reno this evening. Moving right along, we have this United Airlines 737 MAX 8 in the Bing United livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Nashville. That does conclude today's airport update of Denver International Airport. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy the airport update, I ask that you consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as it does help support me and you can see my future plans to make this airport even bigger than it already is. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.